Hey, welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. Uh, sorry that the camera's a bit jiggly. I'm doing a quick review in my car on the way to do some shopping. Thought I would touch base because it's been a few days. I've been enjoying, just waving to my neighbor, been enjoying uh, some Christmas time with the family. So that's been really good, some resting. So don't worry, I, I am about. But I just thought I would remind you guys that the second season for the Ottoman docudrama series is out. There's six episodes and this time it's all about uh, Mehmet versus Vlad, uh, well known as Vlad the Impaler, the sun is blinding my eyes, there we go. Uh, and I actually think this is better than the second, sorry, I actually think it's better than the first season, mostly because the professionals the historians that you have in between the episodes there isn't as much of them so they're kind of just filling the gaps of things you might need to know historically and then there's a lot of drama around uh, the story of Lud and Mehmet and what it does it goes back and forwards between their lives when they were young how they got to be where they are and actually even within the first episode you'll probably find more historical accuracy as to what we know as Vlad. Obviously, Hollywood has done a lot of, you know, Dracula. And I was surprised that he's, his surname, oh, there's Kirsten, you can say hi, babe. Uh, even his surname, they, they pronounce Vlad Dracula. Uh, Dracula? Dracula. Dracula. I always thought that was made up. So there's so much historical stuff that you're going to learn from the location on the maps as to what those countries were at the time because my geography is terrible. So actually having them in place showing you what went on, where they went on, the pronunciations of things, all of that to me is fascinating. But then when you mix in the really, I think, fairly good acting, great costumes, um, the fight sequences were really fun. I really feel like this was a step up from season one. I know a lot of people loved season one. I had mixed feelings about it because the docudrama side, there was more docu than drama. And I just wanted the, the drama of the story, but in documentary style. So this time around for me, it was definitely a step up. Let me know if you are enjoying these styles one of reviews also secondly the docudramas because i know there's a mixed feeling on it some people just want the full story without the history i actually quite like the history because it feels like there's an authenticity to it especially with the people that are speaking about the history and then you get to see it played out live which is really fun uh i i had no idea about half the stuff or well, probably three quarters of the stuff about blood and you you know his violence, you know about him impaling people, you don't know what impaling actually is about. I think most people will, oh, you just come straight out the mouth, right? No, it's way worse than that. Uh, it's just horrible. So you get to, I guess you don't see it much, but they describe it and then they show kind of people on poles, you know, Vlad the Impaler. There's all this historical sort of accuracy from what we know from their perspective. So I know a lot of people in the comments can go, this is not actually what happened. That's exactly what happened in season one. The historians, everybody thought they knew better than the historians, and maybe you do. Uh, but for now, from what these experts are saying, I will go with them because that it broadens my horizon and what I knew. So as a docudrama together so far of what I've seen and I've been a while I've been house cleaning I've been watching you know decluttering for the new year getting ready for 2023 this is something that we've been watching together and so far it's really entertaining so let me know your thoughts on this I just thought I would flag it up uh, while my wife drives me around like a chauffeur uh, as we go shopping uh, yeah all right guys hope that you have a good new year so we'll be doing a couple of other reviews um, before the new year we've got that D, D one shot coming out on new year's with movies and munchies so that is going to be a lot of fun i've rewatched the back and there's some things that would change but for the most part i was laughing the whole way through so look out for that thanks so much for your googly eyes and your time watching this bobbly head uh, kind of review in the car bye